Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there's a lot of things going on right now, that, and you have to understand the earth is changing, and it's changing rapidly. There is, there's a lava field just eating up the forest on one of the islands in Hawaii. There's a lava dome rising in the ocean floor of the Gulf of Mexico, heating the water to the ocean water's temperatures now 80 degrees. It's unprecedented. There's a river in Yellowstone National Park boiling, literally boiling two days ago. And so we're witnessing all kinds of sinkholes, volcanoes, earthquakes, apocalyptic era is upon us. Now, Steve Olson will be with my guest today. I'm going to talk to him a little bit about Planet X. But let me share some things with you that may also help us understand why there is such volatility in the Earth. How's the Earth's magnetic field is changing? Now, we've heard BP Earth Watch talk about this. We've heard Mike from around the world explain this. And now there are other scientists that are giving us information uh, based on their findings. The European Space Agency launched its trio of Earth-facing satellites, the Swarm satellites is what they want to call it, the Swarm. More than two years ago, since then, these three probes have been tirelessly making measurements of the Earth's magnetic field, mapping it out in detail. Now that data has been used in a new study of how the magnetic field has changed, over recent years, with the results echoing what's happening at the planet's core. So something's putting pressure on the planet's core, which in turn affects flow of magma, sinkholes opening, volcanic eruptions breaking records, earthquake breaking records, and, and magma rising to the surface. And is that core being affected by the unknown Planet X or Nibiru or Planet 7X or NASA's new name, Planet 9. Planet 9. What? Well, Earth's magnetic field might be invisible, but it's complex and ever-changing, protecting us from cosmic radiation and solar winds, which, of course, launch these CMEs from solar flares and eruptions on the on the sun and the sun is being affected by something as well that's what's causing it to become more uh explosive really i mean really very active since launching folks these uh swarm satellites at the tail end of 2013 the european space agency swarm satellites have been studying the different magnetic signals from the planet's core its mantle its crust and the oceans, all the way out to the ionosphere and the magnetosphere. Now, all the data that we're talking about here, folks, uh, all of this data has recently been used in a study, and they're describing where the magnetic field is getting weaker. It's, it's not strengthening, folks. It's getting weaker. Why is it getting weaker? Well... What's causing all of this change? Well, the magnetic field is thought to be the result of the vast quantities of molten iron moving around some 1,860 miles beneath the surface of the Earth. These changes, it's thought, are caused by alterations in how the liquid is flowing. Swarm data are now enabling us to map the detailed changes in the Earth's magnetic field, not just at the Earth's surface, but also down in the edges of the source of the region in the core. It's like hell is enlarging itself, expanding, flowing, moving. And the Bible said hell had to be enlarged, and that without measure. And I, and I don't even want to talk about it. I want everybody to go to heaven. I want everybody to find Jesus Christ. I don't want anybody to be lost. But folks, I can't change prophecy. I cannot change the word of God. And so let's get things right. All right. Now look at this. And no wonder people are having heart attacks and, and having panic attacks and freaking out and spacing out and, 
Uh, it's because they don't have Jesus. And, and if you don't have Jesus, you don't have peace. Because Jesus even said these words, in the world you have trouble, but in me you'll have peace. I mean, if your faith, your hope, your dreams are simply your existence on this planet in a mortal flesh, you would be miserable without Christ, without a hope of the resurrection. Um, anyway, as, as it continues to move through the measurements, the swarm satellites will continue to study the magnetic field. In so doing, they will continue to provide valuable insights into how the field is changing while helping us to improve our understanding of what is driving these changes. Now, nowhere in this article does it mention planet X or planet 7X, but there's no doubt about it. You look at the collective data. There is no question. There is something going on. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks, seriously. We're going to be talking about all these things on today's live broadcast. You don't want to miss it. Steve Olson will be our guest. We're going to discuss Planet X. Are you serious? What has he found? What has he saw? What pictures does he have? Is it real? 